You have been aching, bro. I don't give a shit. This here is my future life goals I've been writing in this kind of book. It looks like a girlish kind of book, but in my opinion, it's actually uh, one of those kind of books that I like to write in. So, um, I've been writing a lot of shit in here, by the way. So, basically, it's become, uh, like, a really interesting thing, as i actually been, like, writing some, like, goals in there. So, the thing is, I have, uh, write down some of the things itself, like, lots of things. Some are disgusting, because they're in a way where you have to, like, Get that done and make sure it's done properly. I mean disgusting, I mean adult disgusting, okay? So, uh, personally, I'm telling you this because I hate it. So, um, it's a challenge for me. I need to get to 10,000 before the age of 25. With or without a job, maybe with a job and uh, maybe some kind of online business, maybe, somehow, because I have that books on my uh, Kindle and I don't have an e-reader so uh, I got that on my list of a uh, to-do list so get Kindle, read that from there and uh, get that done and for my lockbox to be uh, unlocked uh, next month so uh, I have like lots of stuff, remove email from there, get Kindle, find employment find ways to make an income but as I'm 24 it feels uh, really scary because seeing your like, life flash by your eyes because of how uh, you went through with the family and nothing was actually going on in the end. It is a scary thing in the end. Other thing is to-do list. It's my retirement goal I need to write to. I need to buy my own first house. And I'm living here. It just sucks. So, uh, just to tell you, for my mom to cook me and uh, help me out, it's just uh, not okay, all right? This is not my kind of life here, right? My, li my kind of life is to live in my own place, enjoying the good times. I like to live like Mordecai and Rigby in their own apartments and stuff, you know? Not here. And because of Mordecai and Rigby, you know, being like real characters, it's just uh, not okay. So, uh, um, at the moment, the good thing is that I'm quite close to 65 kilograms, maybe, because I checked my weight. I'm below uh, 10.5 stones, so I need to get to uh, below that. I'm not doing this for you, right? I'm just doing it for myself because I hate myself, you know? Look at this. Look at this. Alright? Look at that. It's like jiggly legs, then you get it all tied up and stuff, right? You get it all tied up. I look really fat today. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so. I uh, like business plans in here, a store with the ideas about products and how to sell them, coffee brands or how much you should sell them, how much the products are, this and that, store to buy and sell, the daily routine itself, because the idea itself, this is my daily routine. I know that most people don't have this, but it's actually, in my opinion, it's actually important for me to have this, because it's uh, really important. Um, it's just uh, really interesting. Hmm. Mug designs, just the routines. Books to make, income sources to make. You know, when I was listening to this, uh, this audio book of Rich Dad Poor Dad, it became a really interesting thing for me as I get to like learn the important things about what people actually do. So, uh, as uh, people actually have employment, and actually people actually just, like, spend their money, and even spend their money in the end, that's just a wrong thing, because, with my phone, my phone, oh, shoot, my duke was right here this whole time, alright, so, uh, Hmm. Hmm. Portfolio's been doing well. It's been going up recently, you know, the Tesla stock. But I, sh I don't rec I wouldn't recommend it to you because you need to do your research. 
as I actually learned this from uh, an audiobook from uh, Geo by the Victors. It's the best you actually listen to the audiobook as well because they actually are online. And it's best to listen to that, otherwise you'll not actually um, uh, get the information you need. So uh, it's really important you actually listen to the audiobook itself. So you have a clear understanding about where your money actually goes to in the first book, how it goes. If you save the money for a long time, it won't grow on you, so you must let it grow in the end. But you must understand that investing is actually a really scary thing, but it's also a worthwhile thing for the long term and so for the short term. Makes sense in the world and stuff like that, but that's just news and stuff for them. It's not going to help you out. Also, I'd like, uh, I just like uh, making some YouTube channels because uh, I want to like make this uh, channel to like a, a full time or part time like, kind of a um, uh, place for me to like share my things and stuff. So uh, that'd be great, you know. I mean, this is the kind of place I actually have my uh, camera here. I mean, even if uh, someone like, is like watching this and like trying to entertain them, then uh, that's my idea. So, so uh, having books and to like uh, making people more entertained and uh, having a good positive outlook on your life. Let me just show you something. So, what's my bedroom? This is my bedroom here, right? So we're gonna walk all the way here, and we're gonna walk inside here. That's my bedroom, right? That's my bed. That is the table that I do not need. These are my plants, which are even growing because of that. Now up there is my uh, floating shelf. That right there is my weight management goal on, wait, damn it. That side here, that's my calendar, that's my, uh, my weight management thing. Right there, there's a scale that doesn't work. There's a table full of shit that <laughs> no one needs. Sometimes they do need. And I just... I'm looking to forward it, you know? So, uh... I want to be like one of those financial advisors for people who actually like to make their money grow. And uh, as I have like a website, which is not fully done because I want to like generate income at home and generate income at work. I feel those kind of things so I can actually you know, fulfill my dream career and stuff. Interview new people and uh, share my work with them. And this thing will be 10 minutes, which sucks a lot, but that's how it is for me. So um, I don't get paid. TV. But I want to get paid for this, you know, because I never actually had a job at like a uh, retail before. I never actually had any of that kind of stuff. My dad had never helped me out with like f finding a job. My dad wasn't actually like there for me, so I want that. Having an income that actually helps me out with like my future. I want that kind of thing. So I also like put like, ideas about art. Because I'm actually like interested in art. And uh, let me show you my art stuff. I mean, for that itself, let me show you something. So, I drew this myself as a house, as a little person. No, it's not a good drawing. And that's the sun right there. I drew that because of minimalism, alright? And I'm um, just wondering if I should like, make a show for it one day. And I did like put some courses in there that actually like, I want to turn into, like, make into a career. Because that would be a good idea for me. So we have horror movies, best movies, comedy movies, anime, game, musician, anime traps, anime 2, best shows, that's it, and Cartoon Network shows, because long time ago Cartoon Network shows were really impressive, but we wanted to wanted to like draw the, uh, the childhood past that we actually used to have before, like back in our days, it's really interesting, so... It's a really show, good show. Books I should buy to do this, this and that. I didn't get a different book. This one sucks. But anyway, that's the end of the video itself. So, um, see, I told you I'm not lying. I'm actually putting my hair out. What is that? For a 24 year old, this sucks.